male. You were told to stay away from her, correct? But as soon as you'd heard that she'd broken up with Cam, there you were. Boom, right on in. Where are you getting your information? Are you denying it? So you're not sitting around with Joss? You've known Joss in a long time, right? That's correct. Does she seem like the type to sneak around? No. There's your answer. take to say yes you can donate or no you can't either way Liz was the doctor she'll want to know the details thank you dr randolph i appreciate you calling me personally well i'm going to be widow stem cell donor Hello, hello, neighbors. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming. Hope you had a fabulous Thursday. Today's DH review. Interesting episode today. Hmm? Uh, okay, so yeah, let's talk about um. Dang, where should we start? Um, well. Let's just start with Trina. Trina paid. Trina paid Esme and the baby Ace a visit today. Um, she wanted to see for herself if Esme was faking or not, and to her, she feels as though Esme is not faking, and um. She's trying to do what's best for the baby because she see how much is important to Spence. And you know homegirl is really just trying to make Spence back to happiness as normal. So Trina came up with a plan. Her plan is to go to the DA. What's up, Chaco? Is to go to the DA and ask them to drop the charges because it doesn't make sense to charge as may when she doesn't have a memory she'd rather have her out with baby ace and just in case she slips up or gets a memory back she could go back to jail and do her time and you know what that makes sense it does make sense i mean as may don't have a memory uh, and so far she hasn't done the slick, sly smile to herself like her plan is working type of thing. So she really doesn't have a memory. And can we just talk about how Esme received a letter today from her mama, Heather, <clears throat> scared the diseases out of her. And she dropped the envelope when she picked up, when she picked it up and read the name. So that was, that was quite funny. Um, she dropped the envelope and... Then eventually she picked it up and she was looking at something. What? I don't know what Heather sent her. I don't know if it's a picture, if it's a letter, if it's something. But it's something that she just looking at like, nope. So now we got Sunny uh, and Spence at the place, at Sunny Place. And Sunny is letting Spencer know that he's about to step out and he wants them to coexist with Dex and all that good jazz. You know, Spencer's. He was having a fit. He like, why he gotta stay here? How long he gotta stay? How long he gonna be staying here? Sir, this is not your house. This is your uncle's. So he can stay here as long as he want. And that's exactly what Sonny said. So you better behave, okay? Dang, get along with somebody. You about to lose Cam. You might as well make friends with Dex. It'd be funny if Dex wound up being uh, Spencer's brother from. I don't know, but Courtney, and Courtney, maybe she had some kid that she, you know, 
young age and put up for adoption or something like that. <clears throat> anyway, we did get a flashback of Dex. Of Dex, um confessing everything to Josh and he's a part he's working for a private security agency and who do else do we know works at a private security agency or had a private security agency Peter August people Peter freaking August had a security place and so did uh, that other guy who had the uh, shallow I think he had a security piece. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who this is, but um, whoever his boss is. Thanks, Mike. It's Michael's fault. That's all we need to know. Everything that's going to happen to Dex or either Josh or whatever, it's all Michael's fault. You think he would get over this whole Sunny thing, did a revenge thing by now when you got... A full plate, sir. A new baby, a wife to be, a sick to wife to be. Like, come on, get your life right. Um, then Sonny leaves to go see Nina. He goes over there to tell her what happened the night before. You know, you like ahead of incidents. You got some extra guards outside your door. She kept asking what happened. He kept saying, "I thought you didn't want to know about my business." Now she like, I thought so too, but you know what? Now I'm not so quite sure. Yeah, Nina, anything scaring you yet? Because <laughs> trust, you could call her Brenda, call her any one of them, and they could tell you. Shoot, you could sit up there and ask your good old partner, Olivia. How sunny in the business? Joe, please. That woman went from hell to heavens to make sure that he ain't get around Dante, okay? That's how Dante ended up being a cop. <laughs> anyway, so they were there when Aunt Lisa got the call from the hospital. She is a match. She can donate. But she just got to wait until some kind of medication runs out of her system. And you know, most medications, that's like, uh, what, 30 days at least? So, Willow, you better hold on, girlfriend. You better hold on. Y'all stretching the hell out of this storyline. I'm just saying, yeah, you know, I ain't never seen this, that, this, this forever stretch. This is too much. And then y'all trying to top it with Gregory. So we got Gregory and Lexus at the Metro Court, and Lexus thinks he's drunk, and she's asking for the keys in his car because you, obviously, sir, is not capable of driving right now. He got offended. He started getting angry, told her he didn't want to see her face ever again and leave his keys with the, the with the bartender or some crap. Sir, you angry so because somebody care about you? Trying to make sure you okay? This is ass backwards. Yeah, see you later. See you later. I'm just saying, GH is putting on, giving us one sick person to the next sick person, and then we got to deal with the dog going nurse's ball thing coming up <laughs> y'all killing me specs You're killing me uh so um, lisa didn't waste no time she ran over there to corn mains and let willow and michael know that yes i'm a match i could donate i just gotta get some medication out so bear with me so they're going with that news they're pretty happy with that um Willow was like, she's just going to hold on to positivity and she's going to keep hope alive. Yeah, we're trying to keep Willow alive. But, you know, it'll get there. So, when Carly was talking to Michael, let him know that, you know, whatever you need, you need to talk, we could talk. Just let me know you got to take some time off for yourself. You know, Michael, he's a soldier boy. Trust me, his his roster is full, Carly. You just have no idea. Then we got Chase showing up. Chase showing up to go see how Willow and everybody is doing. And then uh, Brooklyn is looking all googly-eyed to him. And um, <laughs> she, wants, she wants him back. And Chase don't look like he wants no parts of that. <laughs> 
shit. Can we just move on? Because y'all dragging the hell out of them too. And I'm sick of it. But it's, it's nobody to miss me. Chase should have stayed with Willow. They just match. Okay? Her awkwardness and his awkwardness, it just match. It should have been a thing. Y'all messed up GH. So then we got Alexis going back and telling Sam what happened with Gregory and, you know, Sam is sitting up there, maybe this, maybe that, maybe, you you know, you shouldn't have said this and maybe you shouldn't have did that, but um, it's obvious that something was wrong with him. And I don't know why they think of drinking first. Did he have an alcohol problem? Uh, that he's a recovery addict or something? Because they, that's all they think about. How about having a stroke? Y'all act like y'all not like 65 and older. <clears throat> anyway, he got some kind of medical thing going on. And it, these two is trying to be uh, detective. At least I don't know why Sam is the P.I. She really doesn't solve a damn thing. I haven't seen her side of a damn thing. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excuse, uh, excuse me, sir. Yeah, thank you. What the hell? You mind? Really? Was I in your way? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all happened. Esme went back and got the letter from Mommy. She sent her something. Trina comes up with the plan. She talks it over with everybody at Spence Place. That was awkward when Josh showed up at Sunny Place and Dex answered the door and they just stand there looking stupid. Like, open the door and let me in, dummy. Jeez, you could just stop and stand there, dude. Um, Trina let them know the plan that she wanted to take and ask for a vote, and they talked it over and they down. So they all going on their way to meet up with Diane to discuss it with her because you're right, Esme doesn't have a memory. It would be best to wait until she do. So we'll see what happens with that, and we'll see what happens with... Look at him. Look at Spence. Look at him. Look at him. And we'll see what happens with whatever Heather sent her. Yeah. And I hope that uh, Dr. O can, like, I don't know, flush out that medication, girl, go on a two-week fast or something, because uh, we needs that ASAP. So that's today's episode pretty much for the, today. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better episode. Should. Maybe whatever Heather sent Esme can knock her memory in the place. Give her a flash or something. She most definitely going to get her memory back. It's just all the matter of when. And when she do, she going to be the man. Well. Time to get to my cat duties and uh, it's clean up day. It's clean up day. Mm -hmm. Casper. Yeah. Clean up day. Time to make this place pretty. Chop chop. See you later, guys.
So she's not supposed to be back here. Cleaned up. Dinner. Yes. I love color. Nike space. Yes. That is a yes, mommy. Mm -hmm. Say bye to everyone. Mm -hmm.